Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. In this game, we'll see the Detroit Pistons going up against the Chicago Bulls at United Center. And our broadcast team tonight, Greg Anthony here to my left and Steve Smith to my right. And the Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, along the sideline. D.A., take it away. Thanks very much. Now, Commissioner Adam Silver is continuing to push for the creation of an in-season tournament. He says the notion is to steal a page from European soccer. It's not the Larry O'Brien trophy, but something secondary that teams care about. Something you'd see players go into that extra gear for. Kevin, back to you. That's pretty intriguing, D.A. It's an interesting story, and we thank you for giving it to us. And a look at the starters for the Pistons. Bay and Bagley will slot in at small and power forward. The backcourt guards are Cunningham and Ivy. And it's Duran in at the center position. And for Chicago, the wings set for him, Levine and DeRozan. Jones is out there with Vucevic, and it's Ball in at point guard. The last game of the season is always surrounded with a lot of hope. Playoff hopes for most teams, and Greg hopes for the future for the others. In one way or another, every player is happy to reach this point, either so they can finally get their playoff run started or so they can get their well-deserved rest in the offseason. Now here's Bay against Indiana. He was really on his game. And here's Ivy. Down to five on the shot clock. Bagley kicks to Ivy. For three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And if Ivy can hit that shot with consistency, it really makes him a tough cover. Outside, Levine. Outside, DeRozan. Pass the ball. Outside, Levine. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Cranes the three-pointer. You love to see more of this. DeRozan needs to keep working on his three ball. The pass to Bay. First quarter just over a minute played. Ivy passes to Bagley. Here's Cunningham. Trains it from 17 feet out. I love K. Cunningham taking what the defense gives him, making the most of a mid-range opening. Passes to Jones. It's Levine atop the key. That shot, no good. And Detroit the other way now. They defeated Indiana in their last game. Yeah, their long-range artillery hit the mark more often than not. A, a great equalizer when you're on the road. They embrace the challenge as well. They hit big shot after big shot to keep the other team at bay. So at Chicago now, after the basket by Detroit. Outside DeRozan. Vucevic to the pass to Levine. Count that bucket. Barely beating the clock. One thing you can say about Zach Levine, he likes these moments. Pass to Bay. Back to Cunningham. With the floater, and the layup is up and in. That's nice work. Stopping short of the rim. Just laying it over the top. It's been a little over a decade, Steve, since the Pistons last made real noise in the playoffs. They've had a tough run of it lately, but rebuilding periods are never pretty, Kevin. They just need time to get back to contender status. What strong fundamentals from Lonzo. Not about to waste they look that good. Pass to Ivy. And here is Duran. Takes it from 10. And that one goes long. After four straight makes, couldn't quite get that one to go down. Still a terrific start. Ball. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. That's on Jalen Durham. You know, Greg, we talk a lot about Ball's offense, but his defense is just as important to this team. Oh, Kevin, very disruptive. He has terrific positional size, and he can anticipate where the offense is going. Two, 
He's off on the first. And defensively, Chicago's so solid. Steve, they don't gamble a lot. They just get the job done. Kevin, they do. Well, how they get it done, they rely on their intelligence. Good communication at that end. Could they be more disruptive? Maybe. But they play to their identity. And he's good on the second. When Lonzo Ball is healthy, he's effective. A multi-talented point guard, in my opinion, with great size. Now, here's Durham. He's another guy who had a stellar performance in that win against Indiana. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. And here's Ball. Lays it up off the glass. Ball's got six points. They have really found a rhythm here early. Four for five to start this game. Ivy passes to Bagley. A three ball. Vucevic with the rebound. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Great, their offensive approach has been rock solid here. And they're finding the weak spots in the D and attacking it. Cunningham's shot is off. Last outing for the Bulls, it was a loss to the Mavericks in Dallas. Levine inside the three-point line. A new 14 for the Bulls. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Can't help but latch on to him. It's your only chance to slow down Vucevic. And Smitty, we've seen Nikola Vucevic add a three-point shot to his arsenal. This is a shot he didn't have early on in his career. But GA, as the game has continued to evolve, so has Vucevic. Recognizing bigs like him have to be able to stretch the floor. And the first one drops. What you love about Vucevic, the consistency. Solid shooting percentages, and he's averaged double-digit rebounds for the last five years. And so he hits both. You know, Greg, adding to that for Vucevic, the last two seasons, he's been excellent in the playoffs. Great point, Kevin. His numbers were up over what he did in the regular season. He hits clutch shots, gives them a physical presence, and he is just a rock in the middle. Now, here's Ivy. He's got five. He kicks it to Cunningham. Shoots over ball. And again, it's the Pistons missing. And that's okay. Even though you miss, you had the right guy taking the shot. DeRozan gets the bucket. Oh, great ball over there. Pistons trail by six. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, did a cold stretch offensively, for sure. And the Pistons decide to take their first timeout right here. Most losing teams, Greg, are looking to rebuild, look to the future, but not in Chicago. Yeah, their idea to turn it around was to get all-stars. <laughs> Trading for Vooch in 21 during a losing season, then signing DeMar as a free agent. That's a refreshing approach. Some numbers for DeMar DeRozan. DeRozan against Bay. They need this. That one off the back iron and out. The Bulls leading by six. Bulls from the top of the key. 
DeRozan's shot is off and out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. As we get a break in the action, let's take a moment to check out the NBA's leaders in steals. Anzo Ball third. And he's been a rock for them defensively. Just so many steals for him this year, and, and so many of them have been in key moments for his team. And it's Jones with the ball for Chicago. Their last encounter was in Detroit where they were able to handle the Pistons. Well, on the road, you don't expect to look so comfortable on the offensive end, but that was the story of the game. Yeah, they look right at home, except they weren't. Great job of blocking out the noise. And here's Cunningham following Lonzo Ball's three. Cunningham's shot is off. Chicago has gone three of three from deep. Nine points rung up from outside here in the first. DeRozan finds ball. Outside, Jones. Six on the shot clock. Ball against Bagley. Ball no good. Pistons trail by nine. Cunningham outside. Bay against DeRozan. Bay kicks to Bagley. Shoots over DeRozan. Cunningham for three. He can't get that one, so the Bulls will take it the other way. The pass to Ball. On its way from DeRozan for two. And the Bulls tag on two more. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. Timeout call, the Pistons. Kevin, what's so impressive to me about Levine? It's the all-around play. He affects the game across the board. Chicago making a switch here. Drummond's checked in. Then for the Pistons, Stewart's checked in for Duran. Nerwin's Noel comes in for Bagley. And it's Burks in for Cade Cunningham. Passes it to Bay. The dish to Burks. The Pistons need to get off a shot here. It's the three-point bomb. Bay. The short corner three works for Bay. He's pretty confident he can hit it from there. Outside ball. Levine finds DeRozan. Now here's Vucevic. They get a hand on it. Noel with it. Now defended by Levine. Here's Burks. Ball with the rebound. Ball's got four rebounds now tonight. On the wing, DeRozan. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got three assists in the game. Ivy passes to Bay. Kicks it to Burks. Pass to Stewart. Here's Bay. No good on the shot. Nice D from DeRozan. Here's Levine. Oh, no, he didn't. An explosive, high level athlete. You see why Zach has won multiple dunk contests. DeRozan against Bay. 
Pass to Burks. Plenty of space. And he drops that one in. Burks. Chicago leading by 11. Bean passes to DeRozan. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Out to the right wing. Here's Vucevic. And slam dunk by Vucevic. Building up a big early lead. They have taken charge of this game. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. Now here's Bain. His numbers are looking pretty good. He's got his scoring average up around 18 and a half points a game. Chicago's got a perfect 4 of 4 from beyond the arc. A lot of their points coming by way of the three in the first quarter. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three second violation. And let's review some numbers for ball. He's averaging 11 points a game, seven assists, and just over two steals. Yeah, he's been making the right decisions and, and letting the game come to him. Solid play all around. He's not trying to take over necessarily. He's just taking what the defense allows and contributing to the calls. Good D by Drummond. There is the value of great rim protection without fouling, forcing the miss. Dosunu, the pass to Caruso. Levine with it. He's defended by Bay. And the pass to Dosun. The Bulls keep it alive. And that one's good. Drummond. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. 156 left to play here in the first. Stewart finds Covington. And here is Bay, guarded by Levine, stolen by Levine. And here we go, Levine hits for the hoop, and Levine with the slam. Incredible speed in the open court. Once he steals it, you're not catching Zach Levine. Levine against Bay. Outside Covington. Just five to shoot. Back to Bay. Over Levine. Bay, no good. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Passes it to Dosunu. Knocked away. And it's Jaden Ivey with the foul. That's his first foul. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Kobe White, he's checked in for the Bulls. Checking into the game for your Bulls. Kobe Bulls White. leading by 17. There's Levine. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. Levine's got eight. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Here's Ivy. And again, unable to change momentum here. And Caruso's got the ball here for Chicago. Right the pass to Drummond. Right side to Rosen. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Attacking the rack to great effect. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. And you know, guys, he had a big game at the free throw line in their last out. Cunningham, he's checked in for the Pistons. A free throw drop for DeRozan. So tough to guard. DeRozan with the strength, the near 40-inch vertical, and he loves to challenge you. Levine against Cunningham. Levine, good. And what a way to start this game, dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. That's a two from Cunningham. And no good in the last second attempt this time. Alex Caruso playing hard-nosed defense, challenging every shot. We're at the end of the first quarter, and what a blowout already in this one. In Chicago, just dominating this one. We've got more in store for you right after this.
Here they come, fans. Turn your attention to the goal. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats here for the Bulls? It's all about pace for me. They have set the tone in that area, and they are playing fast, flying up the floor and putting all kinds of pressure on the defense. And they're making their own luck with how hard they're playing, forcing turnovers and turning that into offense. Brighton Levine on the wing. Andre Drummond is out there with Derek Jones, and it's Caruso in at the point guard position. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Now, here's Cunningham. Zach Levine unable to get his last shot to go. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And the game Bagley has reminds me a little bit of Chris Bosh, a sweet lefty who plays with force and passion. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And, of course, we'd all like to see his percentage at the line improve, but he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. And he can't get the first one. Well, if there's one thing, Greg, that defines a modern NBA big man, it is mobility. And, and they've got to be able to move their feet and, and really play in space. Otherwise, they just can't stay on the floor in today's game. Catching up now on the changes for Chicago. Vucevic comes in for Drummond. And it's Lonzo Ball in for Alex Caruso. That one is no good. Chicago's gone a very strong four for five from three-point land in the ball game, and it's White missing. Ball against Cunningham, and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Anzo Ball picks one up. Well, you look at the county numbers for Cade Cunningham. He, he fills up a stat sheet. The key for him moving forward, though, efficiency. And he knocks down the first one. And you talk about Cade's efficiency. Greg on a struggling team, that can be a challenge. Yeah, without great shooters around him, he's forced into taking tough shots or turnovers. And as the team improves, though, I think the percentages should come around. And so Cunningham nails both of them. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. Here's Levine. He's coming off a 40-point game against the Mavericks in Dallas. On the basket by Jones. Thinks your pass by Zach Levine. Doesn't hesitate to beat the wide-open man. Burks finds Cunningham. Now, Bay. Offline with his three. The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. Yep, that one goes in there. Ball's got 11 points. This is one area where Lonzo Ball continues to improve, creating space for his shot off the dribble. Now, here's Bay. Works with it. Ball's knocked loose. And here's the fast break. Ball leading the way. Levine wide open. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. Levine. He's got 13. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Now here's Durant. Guarded closer. Cunningham outside. Clock is at three. Over ball. Cunningham gets the bucket. A 6'6 point guard, K. Cunningham, can shoot over you. For Chicago, they've gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Bean passes the ball. Here's Jones. White looking around. Shoots over Burks. And it's White missing. And so it's Cunningham. He'll bring it up for Detroit. Quarter 
number two, around three minutes gone by. Excellent D there from Ball. Pass to Levine. Shoots over Bay. Good for another basket. He's put up 10 shots and made seven of them. One of Zach Levine's better nights. He's both prolific and efficient these days. Now a timeout called by Detroit. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. Zach Levine. Then for the Pistons, Noel comes in for Bagley, and Ivy subbed in for Alec Burks. Bay wide open, and he fires. Detroit, no good that time either. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. And now the 2K leaderboard, a list of the teams that have rebounded the ball tremendously over the last 10 games. Fifth on the list, the Pistons. What a show of strength in terms of rebounding. I mean, they've really controlled the glass here of late, playing with some extreme physicality. Two shots. And that one falls for White. Kobe White might be new to the league, but he doesn't play like it. Confidence and ability are beyond his years. So he gets them both. And every year it seems like outcomes in the playoffs can hinge on health. Steve, it's part of the game, as you well know. It is, Kevin, and we hate it because obviously health can change the direction of a series or a team. But the one thing teams are doing a better job is they are lengthening and going deeper into their bench. High offensive IQ. He makes great reads and adjustments on the fly. That's to do sooner. Drives to the hoop. Lock at six. Ball with a wide open look. And again, Chicago. No good. Well, he was in rhythm, hitting two threes in the opening quarter, but hasn't made one since. Now, here's Ivy. Only three points for him the last game against the Pacers in Indianapolis. Defensively, you have to tight up on him or suffer the consequences. Now, here's White. The pass to Dosunga. Ball against Cunningham. Left side, ball, and the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Ball. A moment to check out Cade Cunningham here. He's been fantastic over the last 10 games or so, and he's a defensive ball hawk. You can't let your guard down. Remember, he's 10th in the league in steals per game. And his floor awareness is undeniable. As you pointed out, top 10 in assists, and he's great at drawing the defense and making the perfect pass in stride. Now, here's Cunningham. He had 28 points in the win against the Pacers in Indianapolis. Yes, that goes in. That's great defense, but you couldn't stop Kay Cunningham on that play. 
Passes to Dosunmu. Ball dishes to Jones. Back to ball. That's another one for him. It is fifth in just seven shots. He's been a big factor in their offense tonight, making shot after shot. Ivy. Ball with the rebound. Ball's got eight rebounds in this game. Here's White driving the lane. Agile drive from Kobe White, able to make any adjustment needed to beat the D. Bay passes to Cunningham. Back to Bay. The Pistons working the ball around now. And Noel kicks to Ivy. A second chance effort, and he sinks the layup. Ivy's got seven now in this quarter. Man, he keeps doing his part. They just haven't been able to get over the hump. Ball feeling it out a bit. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Third personal foul. This is Second what you want to see foul. more of from Lonzo, being more aggressive with his own ball. offense and drawing fouls. He shot two free throws in the game, the made one and missed one. An okay season at the free throw line for him so far, sitting right around 76%. Two shots. First one falls for him. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Drummond's checked in for Chicago. DeRozan comes in for Kobe White. And the Pistons making a change here as well. Stewart's checked in. Ball hits them both. And so it's Cunningham. He'll bring it up for Detroit. Pass to Bay. Back to Cunningham. That one doesn't drop. Good D by Jones. And like a lot of top picks, Kay Cunningham had to deal with some adversity in his rookie season. Greg, he had been part of winning teams for his entire life. He was introduced to just how competitive the NBA is. But he says it's only sharper to his focus. And there's the call on Andre Drummond. That's foul number two for him. And the next one puts him in the bonus. And the ball's making a change here. Caruso's checked in. Robert Covington's checked in for the Pistons. And here's Ivy. 12 points for him. Pass to Cunningham. From deep. It's hauled in by the Bulls. They come into this one following the loss to the Mavericks. You know, it seemed like once it went to overtime, the confidence from both teams just really seemed to go in opposite directions. And unfortunately for them, they were on the wrong side of that equation. An absolute juggernaut on the drive. Once Ivy gets a step on the D, you're about to be compromised. And with Ivy, he gives you the physical traits you want at guard. Long, strong, athletic, lots of upside. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. And Ivy especially effective in the open floor. Outstanding burst and speed. Plays with a high motor, and he's always in attack mode. Rodney Magruder's checked in for the Pistons. Both shots good from the stripe. And you have to appreciate the all-out effort Jay Nivey gives you on the court. He works so hard to find ways to get involved and prove he belongs here. DeRozan finds Jones. Here's Dosunmu. 
Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Just five on the clock. Jones up top. Shoots over Covington, and it's Jones. That's on the assist by Drummond. From that in-between range, they've been the much better team. Here's Ivy. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play change for him. First, And one of the best guard finishers. Ivy relentless when attacking the rim. For Detroit, they have shot 67% from the line tonight, going for a six. One shot. And that one falls for Ivy. After having no trips to the free throw line in the first period, he's being much more aggressive now. And there's the pass to Caruso. And here is Drummond. DeRozan scanning the floor. No good on that one. And Detroit the other way now. Now, here's Ivy. He's got 17. Takes a three. And another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. They're still behind, but not because of his efforts. He's been unbelievable this quarter. The 10 footer. Now in the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. Another good play. This is how they built the lead calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. And now it's time to look at our rookie leaderboard and see which of the first year players are tops in assists during the last month. You look at Ivy, an uncommonly gifted passer, leading the league in assists. And he's been setting the table beautifully. I mean, that'll keep his veteran teammates really happy. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Cunningham. So much of the offense revolves around Kay Cunningham. He can do it all. Levine's checked in for the Bulls. And the Pistons making a change here as well. Burks, he's checked in for Rodney Magruder. So Cunningham nails both of them. The Bulls leading by 22. Outside Levine. And here is Dosumu. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. An area of his game that Caruso continues to work on. Nice to see him knocking him down. Now here's Ivy. Back to Cunningham. Stewart trying to get open. Gets an open look and hits. Cunningham's got 10 points now just in this quarter. Taking things into his own hands this quarter. Trying to keep his team afloat. And the foul called on Io Dostumu. That's foul number two for him. Now here's Ivy. Defended by Caruso. Can he keep it going? The rebound by Dosunmu. It could be a little disheartening when you do everything right and come away with nothing. Now Caruso. And Drummond kicks to Caruso. Burks's shot is good. Yeah, a natural score. Ivy is developing into a tremendous playmaker. Levine finds Caruso. Now here's Drummond, guarded by Stewart. Caruso, the pass to Dosunmu. Now here's Levine. And he's good on the three ball. Levine's got 18 points in the game. Cunningham passes to Stewart. 59 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. 
Cunningham's shot is off. Chicago has gone three of five beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. Here's Levine. Drummond trying to get himself free. Levine's shot is off. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. Pistons have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. Bagley, he's checked in for Robert Covington. One shot. And that one falls for Ivy. And here's Levine who brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. Caruso kicks to Levine. Back to Caruso. Here's Dosunmu. And the Bulls, another three. If you relax on him out there, he's going to make you pay every time. Cunningham looking it over. It's off the back rim, no good. And Levine puts up a deep three. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. Burks has all the twos, great size, and a high IQ to be a great defender. And so it's the Chicago Bulls finishing the quarter up by a whopping 24 points. The three-point shooting has come fast and furious to the tune of what has become a big-time blowout in progress. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much with Billy Donovan. Overall, strong first half. What did you like about your team? Well, I thought we got good offensive possessions. We took care of the ball. We scored in the paint. We made some shots. And then I think our defense allowed us to get out on the break some. We'll see if that continues as the game progresses, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. Here they come, fans. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. And Chicago shooting 65%, an outstanding offensive display from them. On the court for the Pistons. Running the wings, they'll go with Ivy and Bay. Marvin Bagley is out there with Durham. And it's Cunningham in at the point. Ball dishes to Jones. Got a piece of it. And he gets it back. Ball, the pass to Jones. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got six assists now in the game. Cunningham kicks to Bay. Back to Cunningham. Pass to Duran. Pistons passing it around. Five on the clock. Here's Ivy. Down it drops Ivy. through the net for his ninth bucket. He is nine for 13 so far. And this young guy, Ivy, is doing anything he wants right now, dominating in effortless fashion. Back to ball. Outside to Rosen. Outside Levine. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. Levine's got 20 points. This demonstrates how confident Levine is. Knows he has the trust of his teammates to fire quick shots. Here's Ivan. He's got 25. Cunningham passes to Duran. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. The Pistons have shot 8 of 10 from the line. That's an even 80% free throw shooting here. That's good from Durham. 
The Bulls have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Outside Levine. The wide open look here for DeRozan. And it's off from three point range. The Pistons shooting around 41% on the night. Kicks it to Cunningham. Pass to Ivy. Here's Duran. Guarded by Levine. Duran the pass to Ivy. Six to shoot. And Detroit again with the bucket. Terrific game plan coming out of halftime. A perfect three for three from the field. Pass to DeRozan. Back to Ball. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assist. Ball's got 17 now. I love how hard Lonzo Ball plays. It's what's allowed him to overwhelm the defense right there. To the middle. Here's DeRozan. And DeRozan throws it down. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. The pass to Durant. Back to Bay. There's the triple. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Vucevic has got six rebounds now in the game. Even though that one didn't go down, I like the offensive game plan here. Three for four coming out of the break. He operates well in traffic, but still, that's just a tough play to finish. Bagley trying to free himself up. The shot by Ivy, no good. And, and, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Marvin Bagley, the third. Marvin Bagley picks one up. This foul. is his first free throw first of the game. Foul. Not the best statistic the for him for in terms of his performance Derek at the Jones line. Jr. Very low numbers. Two shots. Shooting two. The first one falls. Whitey's checked in for Zach Levine. And a switcher also for Detroit. Noel's checked in. And so Jones nails both of them. And so it's Cunningham. He'll bring it up for Detroit. Passes it to Ivan. Let's the three fly. Hits it from three-point range. Ivy's got seven now in this quarter. There you go. That's the stroke we saw in the first half. Ball with it. He's got 17. And DeMar DeRozan the bucket on the assist by Ball. Now that's 17 points for DeMar DeRozan. Pass to Ivy. Back to Cunningham. He dishes it to Noel. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Ball against Cunningham. Four on the shot clock. Here's Ivy. Bank shot. No good. Chicago has gone one and two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. And Smitty in that 21-22 season, DeMar DeRozan proved to be one of the top closers in our game. You're totally right, G.A. He led the NBA in fourth quarter points and finished second in clutch scoring. He embraced the challenge and thrived playing the role of the hero. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. You know, Greg, some guys are late bloomers, but DeRozan, he was just the opposite. Yeah, reports are he had handles at age three. First dunk came in the sixth grade five-star high school prospect and in a strange way he's still an underrated superstar and the Pistons making a change here Covington's checked in that's also good so he hits both free throws 
And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll time help out, them seal out. the deal. Timeout call, the Pistons. Started. On your feet, fans, it's time for your Chicago Lovable. Go. Let's take a look at how the final seeding will look in the East. You look at Chicago. They've got their eye on the number one seed as the season moves into the final stretch. Currently first place in the standings and guys showing no signs of letting up. And of course the Pistons. They're much further down in the standings right now. Yeah, but checking out Chicago, they must have reached every goal they set for themselves this season. For them to be this high in the standings this late in the season, what an accomplishment. It really has been amazing. Everyone just kept waiting for them to fade, and it never happened. Cunningham, Cunningham. gets the bucket. Their three-point three. percentage has taken a big leap here in this second half. And DeRozan kicks to White. Now, here's DeRozan. 19 points in the game. Outside, White. And stolen by Ivy. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Ivy's got nine points here in the second half. He has gotten into a terrific groove here, trying to wheel his team back into this. Pass to White. Back to Ball. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Ball's got four this quarter. Well trained in blocking out distractions. Ball doesn't let a little contact affect the shot. Now the pass to Noel. He gets that one. Nervous. Strong move at the rim. The defender was just a tad big late and contested. Outside ball. Back to DeRozan on the strike. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. Ball's got assist number eight here in this one already. Cunningham kicks to Bay. Back to Cunningham. Over Ball. Again, the Pistons good for two. Working off the ball, you still have to keep track of Cunningham. He finds ways to score. Back to ball. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Five to shoot. Rebounded by the Pistons. Bay with it. Now guarded by DeRozan. Bay against DeRozan. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And when you're trying to cut into a lead, you can ill afford mistakes like that. You know what it is. A lack of concentration. That's a momentum killer. Andre Drummond's checked in for Chicago. And Detroit with a change here, too. Burks has checked in. Getting another opportunity here to see that powerful rejection. And that block might serve as a spark for this team. We'll see if it can ignite them. Down low, here's DeRozan. And the dunk by DeRozan. This is why Lonzo Ball was drafted number two overall. Elite vision and size. Passes it to Ivan. to Bay from the arc. Rebound by the Bulls. 
Drummond's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Great open look there. DeRozan's got 13 points in the second half. Yeah, that's a great shot. Third three of the game for him first in this half. And here is Bay. Ivy passes to Bay. This is to Noel. And the officials call a traveling violation. And it's easy to give up after a play like that. But this team needs to keep fighting. It's just one trip down the court. But you have to have short memory in this league or you won't last long. Bulls making a switch here. Caruso's checked in. Stewart's checked in for the Pistons. Pass to Drummond. Here's White. The shot will not fall. Good D by Covington. Detroit's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Burks finds Covington. Back to Burks. It's not going to go for him. And so White will bring it up for Chicago. Ball from long range. Score that one for him. His eighth field goal. Eight for 11 on a very accurate night. And that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Burks on the wing. He kicks to Ivy. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Second and Ivy just foul. so difficult to corral. Second Sometimes you, you have to foul him and hope Shooting he misses. And guys, what Ivy. do you think about the offensive Two approach shots. we've seen so far for the Bulls? They've been lights out from three-point land in this one. The defense hasn't been effective at stopping them, so they have just stuck with the game plan. And they've really been able to get out in transition and produce. The defense hasn't had an answer for this up-tempo pace. That free throw, no good. So for the Bulls. Zach Levine's checked in for White. And it's Dosumu in for ball. And a switcher also for Detroit. Rodney Magruder's checked in for Robert Covington. And the second free throw, good. Chicago has gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the arc. Dosunmu, the pass to Caruso. Outside, Levine. Just four to shoot. That shot misses. And the Pistons now going the other way. Works with it. Now defended by Levine. Levine against Burks. Knocks it loose. Levine passes to Dosunmu. Back to Levine. Puts up a three. Two minutes remaining. And the rebound goes to the Pistons. Two minutes. He had six points from long range in the first half, but nothing's fallen here since. Here's Ivy. Here's the feed to Noel. Here's Dosunmu. He has five. And there's the foul. We'll go on Alex Caruso. That's his first foul. Personal foul. Second team foul. For the Pistons, Marvin Bagley comes in for Noel. And Corey Joseph subbed in for Ivy. Corey Joseph. The Pistons have gone 8 of 13 on shot attempts to begin the second half. Joseph looking around. Stolen away. Now here's Dosumu to Rosen. The shot misses. Great D that time from Bagley. That's tipped, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Pistons will retain possession. Detroit ball. Here's Joseph.
There's 57 seconds left in the third quarter. Caruso grabs the miss. Now well, Chicago has gone three of five with the long ball since entering the second half. Pass to Dosunga. And the Bulls with another miss. Detroit's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. And stolen by Drummond. Up top to Rosen. Guarded by Stewart. He muscles it in through the contact and they call the foul. He's on his way to the free throw line. This has been a tremendous quarter for him. Everything he puts up now looks like it's going in. And this is his third trip to the line tonight. And the Pistons making a change here. Hayes is checked in. DeRozan at the line for one. One shot. They've been a little too casual with the ball out there. Yeah, but you can't force that square peg into the round hole. Oftentimes, you just got to make that first simple pass and get a rhythm from that. Levine deciding where to go with it. Kicks to DeRozan. And that comes off the assist by Levine. DeRozan's got 18 points just in the second half. Watching DeRozan tonight, you're reminded of how good, how resourceful a scorer he can be. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. Pulls out front as they end the third quarter with a tremendous 17-5 run. And we'll get going after this from the United Center. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. We've got Williams. White is out there with Dosumu. And it's Green, and it's Mann, and at the three, the small forward. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Here's Hayes. And it's White with the rebound. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Uses the glass to finish the lane. And they're getting points. They're getting stops. And this is how they'd like to play all the time. Yes. When it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish. But they're tough to replicate. During the pass to Magruder. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Here's Dosunmu. And he uses the glass on the layup. They are just killing them on the interior. And for the Pistons, they're shooting not great. 40% for the game. There's the pass to Magruder. Here's Duran. And there's the drive. Diallo kicks to Covington. Shot clock at five. Puts it up from 12. A shot's good from Hayes. The effort from Hayes doesn't go unrewarded. Able to find himself a look in the mid-range. Back to White. And for coaches' challenges, the refs review their own calls. It's a little like grading your own test. Maybe, Greg, give that job to the review center. You, you definitely risk a confirmation bias well, and everyone wants to be right it, it does Defensive seem foul. like some calls stand that probably could be reversed first he's been one way javante green foul. got our attention early on in his career the was the with his spectacular Joe. acrobatics those great green. dunks kevin i agree with you reverse well, jams out. windmills putbacks there isn't going to be a soft finish when he's close to the bucket
the Pistons have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. And Hayes kicks to Diallo. Back to Hayes. Shoots over Dosumu. The shot's good from Hayes. You can Assist see from. Killian Hayes is getting better at making adjustments in the face of great defense. Feeds it to White. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Williams kicks to White. And the Bulls with another miss. And the truth is, this league would have been much bigger had he shot better. Now Diallo. Here's Magruder. From deep three-point range. Rebound by the Bulls. And here is Dosumu. Passes it to Mann. Outside, White. Now, Green. Here's Mann. They get the rebound. Look at, look at the big fella working on that possession. He knows how to fin guys off and get those rebounds. This is what scouts love about Killian Hayes. He has the size and the wherewithal to attack the defense inside. We're seeing a lot of pretty lively pregame dance routines from the players. You got any of that in your repertoire, say, before we begin a broadcast? Oh, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, I think pretty soon we should work out a few sequences. You know, get ourselves fired up. You, you game? No. Come on, Greg. I'm not sure about that. But you, you go ahead and do it. <laughs> the size Hayes possesses at his position is unique. He's good at using his physical advantages. Goran Dragic has checked in for Dosumu. And the Pistons making a change here as well. Corey Joseph's checked in for Rodney Magruder. Hayes hits them both. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Outside, White. Here's Mann. To the paint. Stolen by Joseph. Here's Diallo. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. Second team foul. Hamadou Diallo can play different positions Pistons, for you on the floor. Hamadou he can Diallo. handle the ball, and he can get inside and make tough plays. First free throw is good. And guys, how about Hamadou Diallo? I mean, still a youngster in the league. He is, G.A., but becoming a better scorer each year, averaging over double digits each of his last two years. Loves to play inside and do some of the dirty work. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And for a lot of up-and-coming teams, getting better defensively is the key to reaching, Greg, that next level. That being considered, what's the first step in that improvement? A lot of times it's bringing in a great defender, like a Pat Beverly or an Andre Iguodala, a defensive anchor who also inspires his teammates to take that challenge. Here's White. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. Diallo with it. And there's the whistle. That's Illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. And so Green will bring it up for Chicago. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Tipped away. Williams kicks to White. Dragic taking his time here. Trains it from beyond the arc. 
I mean, tremendous quickness off the pick and roll. Goran Dragic will run this on you all day. Hayes, the pass to Joseph. Not going to go that time. Chicago has gone one or two from three point range here in the fourth. The offensive rebound. Green. Nice work on the board. He's paying off with the basket. Green's got five points now in the quarter. And they've gotten very aggressive on the offensive glass here in the second half, getting a lot of second chance points. Here's Diallo. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. Bulls have gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Rockets, the pass to man. Now White. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. I think you're going to see more and more of this from Kobe White. Challenging the defenders as a 6-5 guard. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Pass to Joseph. Now here's Hayes. White covering. Pass to Diallo. A three-pointer is right on target. The Bulls have gone 6 of 11 since the start of the fourth quarter. Mann passes to Green. The feed to Williams. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. There's the dish to Dragic. The pass to Williams. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on Nerland's Noel. What I appreciate about Patrick is that he plays his role well. Doesn't play outside of himself. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Williams. And nowadays, it seems like players have more opportunities than ever before. But, Steve, does that add to the challenge of balancing on the court versus off the floor? It does for some individuals. But I love the opportunities that they're getting, and I love they're taking advantage of it. Most of the guys can juggle and balance both. And he makes the first but misses the second. And, guys, talk about the production that Covington brings to the table. Gia, he's been with quite a few teams, but he's been a star to most of his career. His presence on the defensive end, getting to the rim and scoring it, has been a treat. Here's White. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Beautiful focus from Kobe White. Powering his way past the defense. personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for Chicago, Kobe White. One shot. One shot. And that one falls for White. For Detroit, they've gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth, or of nine. Passes it to Diallo. Noel against Dragic. Shot clock at six. Pass to Covington. But three. Detroit getting another chance here. And the basket is good. Diallo's got nine points now in just the second half. Effort play, pursuing the basketball. Love how he puts in the work. Here's Mann. Another three for Chicago. Kobe White keeping his head up, shows great vision, and delivers a great pass. Pass to Diallo. And Noel kicks to Joseph. And in this era of player movement, Greg, we're seeing guys often pick teams on fit or style of play. When they look at that, what are they looking into? You want to have fun coming to work every day, Kevin. I mean, the money they're making, most guys are going to be set for life. But I think they recognize it's about the journey and who you have the opportunity to take that journey with. Williams passes to Dragic. Uses the glass to finish the lane. 
Dragic has got five points in the quarter. We talk about Williams' physical abilities, but right there, you see the awareness and willingness to be unselfish. Outside, Joseph. It's Noel, high post. He's against Williams. Here's Joseph. Here's Covington. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Opposing defenders know what Robert Covington is capable of, giving him no room. For the Pistons, Robert Covington taking two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Rodney McGruder's checked in for the Pistons. Second free throw, no good. Greg, you think of everything that goes into making it to the NBA as a player. Did it come easy for you, or was it all work? It's easy, really, to overlook the grind, but when you love the game, all those hours in the lab don't feel quite like work. At least not until you start getting a little longer in the two. And the pass to Diallo. Detroit, no good that time either. Chicago's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Diallo against White. Here's Mann. Left side, Williams. Four on the clock. And stolen by Noel. Shot good by Diallo. Diallo's got 11 here in this quarter alone. Ball's not loose. Now, here's Dragic. Pass to Mann. Back to Dragic. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. 1.57 left in the fourth quarter. Out to White from downtown. Good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Williams has got three assists now in this one. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. You know what? They talked about this at halftime. And they're doing a better job of creating space. And here's Frogic. He'll bring it up for Chicago. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout. A dominating performance for the Bulls. It was like watching a three-point shooting contest tonight here. And they just didn't seem to let up whether the last several shots went down or not three after three it just seemed to pay off for them and I think coming into this game these guys felt they had the confidence to win and looking at the well, season they've had already 58 wins in the books tonight will be win number 59 and, and not just a win tonight guys but a win on the season series as well as they finish with three out of four games against this opponent and you know when you look at the huge impact he had just a monster game for DeMar DeRozan. And how many times throughout the course of the evening did he make a momentum-changing play? I thought his relentlessness really keyed their success. First personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for Chicago, Terrence Mann. At the line for one, Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Fifty five seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Magruder. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Diallo kicks to Hayes. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. But beyond the leaning, you can see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. 
Mann passes to Drummond. That one misses. And Detroit the other way now. 27 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Diallo kicks to Noel. Hayes the pass to Diallo. Lock at six. Williams with the steal. Now Drogic. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Kevin, thank you. Damar, this team is playing well together. How are you encouraging and fostering that sense of all of you being together and playing well? Um, we're just making everybody comfortable. Making each and everybody on this team comfortable. If it's jump shots, if it's attacking the basket, you know, even if it's on the defensive end, you know, we're just giving each other confidence every time we practice. And it sure looks like it out there tonight, Damar. Thanks a lot. Kevin, back to you. All right, David, thank you. That's it, folks. The NBA regular season is in the books. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later.